Hey guys, this is Amit. Uh, I'm trying to create a, a video tutorial series um, for anyone who is interested in learning Linux. So as the first step, um, um, I mean, you know, if you wanted to learn Linux, you need to have access to a Linux machine. So I'm going to show you how you can install a Linux uh, operating system, basically the CentOS on a, a virtual machine on Windows. So the first of all, uh, yeah, let's go to Google. Uh, you want to download a VMware player, uh, download. Okay. Uh, you can actually use VirtualBox, but I'm just going to cover the um, VMware player. Okay. All right. Download VMware player. So you can just do a search uh, player here. Okay. So here's the VMware player, and you just click on download product, and then you should, you know, I mean, so uh, here's the VMware player window for Windows 64 bit. It's probably not displaying the 32 bit option because I'm on Windows 64 bit, or they may have discontinued that. So I don't think you will be on Linux. So, uh, you know, we'll just download the, click on download, and then, you know, uh, click on download and then um, you know just do the installation just like you would install any other programs because I already have the VMware player installed on my computer I'm not gonna show you how to um, do the installation okay so once you are done with the installation then you want to download the um, CentOS image uh, the ISO file so you know so uh, yeah, we are gonna search for the uh, Santos ISO. So we'll go with. Uh, I have already created a video on how to install Santos 7 on the VMware. So I'm just gonna go with 6.6 32-bit. Okay. All right. So here we go. You can select any of the uh, closest mirror to you. So uh, I'm just randomly picking one up. So uh, there are a couple options here, the DVD one and two ISO, or the torrent, or the minimal ISO, or the minimal torrent, net install ISO, or the net install torrent. So the net install ISO actually, you know, has the minimal files and images required to boot up the uh, PC or the virtual machine so that you can do the rest of the installation from the internet. So you would require an active internet connection and then you know it will download the packages over the internet so the i mean i prefer doing the minimal iso um you know i mean but you know i i do net install as well so if you download the minimal iso you don't have to worry about the internet connection during the installation so let's go ahead and um okay um so let me also show that there is another one that you can see x x86 underscore 64 so it's the same thing except that this is the 64-bit version the only thing is uh, if you know that your computer has virtualization technology and you can turn that option on which is usually found in the bios you can download the 64-bit version or if you don't know what virtualization technology is and you know the long mode or you you can't um, change that settings just go ahead and download the 32-bit minimal iso okay so i already have this iso so i'm not going to download i'm going to skip that part and now uh, we'll uh, go to the vmware player and then create a new virtual machine and then install the centos 6.6 32-bit all right here are a couple other virtual machines that i already have so i'm just going to create a new virtual machine and then uh let's see here um uh, you know, you just browse the place where you downloaded the uh, downloaded the uh, ISO. So select the ISO, um, and then you know uh, here it says the CentOS detected, and it'll do the easy install. Um, you can go with that, or we can just select I will I will install the operating system later, and then you know um, it'll just you know you can power it on and then do the installation later. 
the easy install if you select that it'll just ask you for the um uh, let me just show it show it to you all right so uh, if you go next here it's just going to ask the full name, the username, the password, and the confirm password. This is for both the user and the root account. So that's that. And then, you know, you click next and it'll start installation. So now for this, I'll just do the I will install the operating system later, you know, just for the sec. And then you just select the CentOS uh, 32 bits and then next um, you can just you know wherever you want to store your virtual machines I would want to install in the virtual machines directory all right so okay and then I'm gonna say Santos dash tutorial uh, and then the virtual machine name is gonna be Santos dash tutorial all right so um, here the minimum maximum disk size 20 gig it's more than enough for you to learn uh, store virtual disk as a single file versus the multiple files the multiple files option makes it easier for you to move the disk but the performance is faster in this disk as single file if you don't need to move it anywhere you know copy it to another computer or whatsoever just go with the single file now here you have got all the options just click on the customize hardware and then see here um, let's see the network adapter I prefer going brizzed you know so what the difference between the Briz and the non brizzed adapter is that uh, with the Briz you get the same IP address as the other rest of the devices in the network so you can access the virtual machine from another computer uh, mobile device or you know uh, whatsoever so just go ahead and change that to the net uh, I'm sorry the I have bridge network and then if you wanted to change the memory here you can do that and then everything else right okay so we're good to go click on finish it's created the virtual machine so now we're gonna do a play virtual machine All right, so here's the thing. Uh, since we did not select the option of easy install, you know, um, it's uh, it did not boot up. So we need to tell it to boot from the disk. So we can go to player, power, uh, restart guest, yes. And then you need to press F2 here. And then, you know, just like a normal computer, you go to the BIOS right and go to boot and then uh shift and plus we'll move it up shift and plus f10 will save these settings we'll just go press enter all right let's see our uh, removable devices settings let's see what happened there okay so we are gonna point to the let's go e installers okay and then the minimal okay okay now you can just send control alt dell all right so now it booted up from the centos 6.6 .6. So you have a couple of options here, install or upgrade an existing system, install system with basic video driver, rescue installed system, boot from local drive and memory test. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the cursor to the install or upgrade an existing system and then we're going to press tab. So you get this little prompt uh, down here. You see that? Uh, so uh, give me one second here. So you see this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say install in the text mode, Linux space text. You could have just gone with whatever the you know, option is. I just wanted to show you, you can also do it in the text mode. All right, we don't want to do this skip the media test if it were a CD and you know um, You wanted to make sure the files are there. You could do that Back in the days. I remember 
you know, you would run into a lot of problems with the scratch disks. Okay, select the language, uh, the keyboard layout. And then, you know, it's just warning that, you know, there is no, uh, this device may need to be reinitialized. It's nothing to worry about your computer's desk. It's the virtual desk that is only tied to this virtual machine. So we're going to say reinitialize all. And then the system clock, I don't care at this point. I um, mean, you can always change the settings later. You're going to learn, uh, you know, how to do that all. Now the password, you just keep a password for the root account. Yes, use anyway. Um, so use entire drive, you know, you can just do that. Okay, uh, so we'll write changes to disk. Just use the arrow keys to move back on, cycle through the buttons or the tab keys. All right, so it's started installing the packages, and there are 204 packages that make up the base install, the minimal installation of the Linux system. All right, 27, 30%. It's it's going to be quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep coming with the videos, I mean, in a series, like, you know, what next, what you should be learning next and stuff like that. So subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share with your friends, you know. I mean, you know, it's a great thing to learn, you know, if you want, want to be in the IT industry. Um, I really love the field. Um, I've been, you know, using Linux for like 15 years already and I, I really like it I mean, the market is growing and you know everything like most of the servers run Linux and you know it's pretty good all right 96% there Two hundred and four. There you go. All right, do it, do it. Reboot. Give me the prompt. Yeah, we're just waiting on it to finalize. It's going to reboot and give you that prompt. So you can log in and have some fun. Reboot. All right. Sending termination of signals. Rebooting system. All right. So we'll just press enter. So you see that progress bar? You can just hit tab and then, you know, I mean, uh, you could just press, press escape and then you can see what the details are going on. You know, applying firewall rules and whatnot. All right, so we got the prompt. There you go. Press root and then rate hat was the password that I set. And then, you know, I have config. So, okay. Um, so you are in the system. This is the console. You can press control alt F2 to go to the next uh, terminal. F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, you know. Um, just cycle through that. And then... Uh, Looks like the the Ethernet. Uh, this LO is the ifconfig command lets you view the status of the interface. So the LO interface that you are seeing here, let me see. Uh, the um, okay, the LO interface that you are seeing here has the address of 127.0.0.1. That is the loopback address. So it looks like the um, network interface card, usually the ETH0, which is the first Ethernet card, is not up in this case. So what we're gonna do is uh, let me see. Uh, probably should have asked, you know, if you wanted to um, have the network card started with the system. But never mind. Service network uh, restart is the command that you want to run to restart the command. But it did not bring the 
So if you look at here, if you look here, um, it just brought the sort the loopback interface and then it brought up the loopback interface. So um, what we're gonna have to is uh, you know vi etsy sysconfig network that's script. I mean you should not have to go through this file for your first lesson, but you know that's all right. Uh, that's eth zero. So you are going to uh, the vi is the editor, the text editor. So we're opening this file, the etsy sysconfig network dash scripts slash ifcfc dash eth zero, which is the um, configuration file for the first Ethernet card. So press enter, and then um, let me show you uh, here. Um, so. If you see here, it says unboot equals no. That's the reason that you know the uh, network did not initialize um, when the system started. So what we are going to do is we're going to change that to yes, and then all right. So uh, in order for you to you just scroll down with the arrow keys, you just you know put it there, and then you can just press A, and then you get that. So you see that insert at the bottom and then you just press the backspace you type s yes i'm sorry and then press escape and then the colon x like you can see here um and so you the escape and then the colon and then the x now you press enter you press enter and then it's written now if you do the service network restart and see it's determining the ip address for the ethernet too all right let's see okay it, it should have gotten the ip address here now if we do the con if config eth zero so all right there's um let me show you here all right so you see here the inet addr and then you see the 192.168.100.51 that is the ip address for the ethernet zero like i said this is the console and assume this is a server sitting in the data center you don't want to like you know stand in front of the computer in the data center all day long to run commands and manage the server so um i would uh, you know i would suggest you guys use you know some kind of ssh client to access this machine in windows you just um you can just download the putty software uh, let's go here google.com so you can just say putty download and then you know just click on the go download and then you just download this putty.exe i already have it downloaded so uh, let me so okay so 192.168.100. What was the IP address again? 51. And then you just click on open. You can, and it says body security alert. You just do the yes, yes. And then login is root or whatever the account is. And then voila, you are in the system. You're the same machine. Now you can work on it, right? All right, so until I come up with the next video, I mean, if you want to go further, um, what I can suggest to you is to learn a couple of things like, you know, learn how to use VI and then the grip command, the sed command, the ls command, you know, list files and directories, the mv command, the cp command, and, um, you know, the users, groups, and permissions. User groups and permissions. All right, and there are a couple other commands too, fdisk and um, df. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll come up with the other videos, you know, I'm in one topic at a time. Um, until then, you can just, you know, if you wanted to go further, you can just explore these things on your own. I hope the video was helpful. This is just an educational video for you. All you do is you t at your own risk, do not blame me for anything. I cannot be held liable for anything. All right, thanks and see you in the next video.